Uh, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So looking at the US markets there, following on from uh, Janet Yellen's comments late on Friday evening about um, interest rates potentially not being completely out of the picture uh, and obviously still being data dependent, but um, the dollar has really rallied on the on, on the back of, uh, of Yellen's comments there, uh, which has uh, taken many of the markets by, by surprise there. So uh, US markets slowly drifting now down below 18,284. Uh, the wrong side of potential resistance so it was acting as support now acting as potential resistance we need to break back above there you can see the last uh, five or six days long like the candles right here are indicative of that selling pressure uh, almost got a negative crossover there on the macd same with the slow stochastic just about to well it's got a crossover it's not yet broken that 80 percent level uh, but in the short term that continues to, to move lower 18,112 as the next potential support level to be aware of. So looking at the UK 100, a bit of a, of a reverse picture compared to the US 30. We still have the tips of these candles here making a lower, a lower highs. So we're really looking to try and get a break above, say, 7,100 uh, to be able to break that cycle of lower highs. Moving at uh, technical analysis uh, and moving averages, you've got a bullish crossover on the MACD. Um, I would imagine that the tip of this candle might provide a little bit of short-term potential resistance. So actually, let's just go ahead and put that on there properly. Uh, and you can see there it's around about uh, 7084. Um, long leg candle there on, uh, on the previous session. Uh, which was on Friday uh, and we've been higher on the UK markets already this morning only to come off again uh, for the Germany 30 is actually shooting up a little bit higher US 30 coming down ever so slightly as well so moving on to Japan 225 uh, soldiering on nicely there everybody's just thinking about uh, stimulus for China that's probably what you, pretty much what everybody's talking about over in uh, the APAC region uh, I think you've got most Chinese stock markets at 7 year highs Japan 225 is actually at 15 years highs um, dollar yens hit 122.70, uh, following on from, from Friday yellow and commons, uh, which can be very uh, net positive for Japan 225. 28.68 is the next potential resistance. We're about halfway there between the previous broken uh, resistance at 20.87. So, still got a little bit way to go. Another 400 odd points, and we should pretty much be there. So, let's have a look now at dollar yen, which has had a fierce breakout above 121.87. We've got to be looking at the next potential resistance being 124 spot 40. Too, and there's a real strong technical breakout this morning. Um, looking now, looking very, very, um, a lot of momentum behind it. Uh, with other technicals, uh, you've got the fact that the solo stochastic still has room for maneuver. The RSI has just gone overbought, but yet has not given a reversal signal yet. And the MACD is just beginning to uh, accelerate. You see the MACD histogram here just moving up very nicely. So this could just be the start of a decent move for um, for dollar yen, depending on the on the next macro data that comes out. But certainly from a technical analysis perspective, that's a very strong technical signal, very strong candle. And we're at the top end of our range already this morning. So that's 122 spot 68, and dollar yen has roared back into life. So then moving on to West Texas crude. Uh, West Texas is actually not doing a huge amount, uh, following on from our previous uh, previous uptrend there. Last three days have been negative. There has been a little bit of buying interest around about um, 58 and a half. Uh, we're at the bottom end of a range so far today struggled to break up any higher looks to be that 59.50 is going to be short-term potential resistance not a huge amount to talk about with west texas crude at the moment because the technical levels aren't quite so clear so obviously dollar strength and um interest rates in the in the in the u.s has affected uh gold which has got a bearish engulfing pattern this morning breaking below the 21 period sma looking at 11.86 is next potential support You've got a negative cross on the MACD, whereas the RSI and the stochastic are neutral to you know, nothing really that that um, that's signif significant. Um, but the the actual price action itself uh, accelerating down just now it looks to be 11.86 is the next potential support level. So if we look at um, uh, your dollar. Your dollar has really gotten smashed uh, the last uh, seven or eight sessions. It looks to be one spot zero seven is the next potential uh, support level to be aware of. Um, trading below both moving averages now uh, and the other uh, technical indicators are accelerating down towards the downside with still um, further room for maneuver. And obviously that Greece deal coming ever closer. 5th of June uh, for their next payment to the IMF and uh, they really need to get the next tranche of uh, of cash from the Eurozone. So moving on to, I'm finishing up with GBP USD. 
Um, another negative uh, day to day following on from this real bearish engulfing pattern we had there on Friday. Uh, on the wrong side of one spot, 54.24 right now, trading below 21 period SMA. Uh, negative cross on the MACD, a sell signal on the RSI, and the same with the slow stochastic. From a technical analysis perspective, pressure certainly looks to be returning to the GBP USD. Um, but a lot of that, there's obviously a lot of technical factors um, all in play right now, but it's those comments from Janet Yellen late on Friday. Uh, revolving around interest rates and the need that these uh, that they, they they shouldn't wait for too long, uh, which has caused this uh, this ripple across uh, the U.S. dollar. So in regards to economic data that's due out today, you've got U.S. durable goods uh, and you've got CCI due at 3 p.m. UK time. Fast forward to Wednesday, nothing really that exciting. You've got um, CCI for Germany. And it's not until Thursday that you've got uh, a, a bigger raft of data. But you've got GDP. Uh, employment claims, housing index data, and of course, you could all inventory data at 4 p.m. on Thursday. I can see there's actually quite a lot of activity on um, the chart forum from one of our clients there today, and there's a huge amount of other um, CMC Markets analyst related content. And as ever, make insights part of your layout as well if you want to get this uh, inside track as to what's moving the markets from our global team right here. So that can be quite useful as well. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.